Good evening, I'm Cherise Gibson. Today there was a major increase in activity at the collapse zone. Now six days after the Hard Rock Hotel came crashing down. Crews are removing debris from Rampart Street as they prepare to bring those two damaged cranes down. And they want to make that make sure that this happens before a tropical system arrives. Dana Monteverdi has the latest. At some point Thursday, crews will hop into this basket on North Rampart Street. They'll be lifted up to the two cranes towering over the partially collapsed Hard Rock Hotel, and those workers will attach explosives to the tops of the cranes. And I want to be very clear, we're talking about taking down the cranes only. The area in the CBD and French Quarter that's closed off to people in traffic right now will soon grow. The public needs to pay attention right now. NOFD Chief Tim McConnell says the demolition crew, which helped at the 9-11 and Oklahoma City bombing sites, has said they believe the tops of the cranes will simply fall straight down and won't damage any other buildings. I truly believe we have the best engineers as consultants, the best contractors, demolition, the largest demolition contract in the country who does this on a regular basis. Now, even after nearly a week, McConnell says the work is far from over once the charges are detonated. Well, it's not it. Right. The city's got a lot more recovery right. to do. Uh, I came in for Katrina. I worked 48 days straight. This is a, an emergency, but we're up for it. You can look at the staff behind me. They've all been here, too. I might be the face out here at that time, but 